Hello and welcome to this edition of Fight Back for Your Rights. That's a show which is dedicated to you, the consumer, a show that helps you stand up and fight for your rights together with us. All right, this week also we stand by our promise to carry your voice to the right people and ensure that your problem is duly redressed by companies you repose your money and faith in. Joining us first is Amit Prakash, who's from Bangalore. He has had a problem with UTI. Amit, go ahead, tell me what happened. Uh, I had uh, I had invested uh, in a UTI Children Gift uh, Fund. Mm -hmm. That was uh, way back in 1990, and okay. uh, it, uh, it the policy was uh, it was uh, supposed to uh, be redeemed in the year 2005. But actually, I had not redeemed it then. I redeemed it in 2008. Uh, the first time when I went to redeem it, uh, they told. Uh, they took all the documents and uh, they put a seal uh, saying that they've received all the files and uh, they gave me uh, they gave me a copy of that and uh, told me uh, they'll be able they'll send the check within a month mm -hmm. after a month uh, when i went back to them they told me that uh, uh, they've not uh, i've not given any documents at all then i had to uh, keep uh, contacting their office uh, going and i had to keep going and coming they told me to contact the bombay office and then uh, they told me, no, you'll have to contact the Chennai office. And uh, even though I had a Xerox of the certificates with the seal on it uh, saying that uh, received documents from UTI uh, mm. and the date and everything. Okay. Then uh, this was in uh, 2008. I tried to redeem it in 2008. And then I contacted the Bombay office as well as the Chennai office and the Bangalore office. But uh, there was absolutely no response from their side. So has the... Uh, Mutual fund got back to you after you wrote to us? Uh, yeah, uh, as soon as I wrote to you all, uh, the very next day, uh, they called me from Bombay as well as from Chennai. And uh, within about four or five days, uh, they, they processed everything and they even sent me the check. Oh, so you've got the check so already? I, yeah, I already got the check and I've deposited in the account also. Okay, that's good to hear, okay. Amit. I'm happy that... Yeah, I'd uh, like that. I'd like to especially thank uh, you and uh, UTV Bloomberg for uh, having such an initiative and helping uh, uh, investors like us who are uh, actually uh, not uh, able to do anything to such, uh, even though it's a public sector company, we're not able to get back the money. I've been trying for the past three years to get it. I'd like to uh, really thank you and I appreciate the work you are doing. Thanks very much, Amit. And we appreciate yeah. that uh, viewers like you are watching us and uh, encouraging yeah, us to do even better. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, we did write to UTI and this is what uh, the company has said in its response. UTI Mutual Fund in response to fight back says and I quote, with reference to the complaint of Amit Prakash, we have spoken to the investor and received the required documents for processing the redemption request under the scheme CGGF 86. The cases have been processed now by our registrar and the checks are being dispatched to the investor on 17th March 2011. A copy of the mail sent to the investor is attached for your kind personal. The complaint has been resolved. End of quote. All right, let's go across to Samir Tomar now who's calling us from Ghaziabad. He has a credit card complaint. Samir, go ahead. Uh, hi, Vivek. I am Samir. I am having this credit card for last four years. I have used, uh, there is a credit limit of 65,000 on that, right? Okay. I have used 40,000 out of it and for the last four years, I am a person who is paying my minimum uh, amount every month, except for the month of December when I went to their office in Jandewala, where I was telling them to uh, change it in an EMI mode. All right. They have not responded at all to my any of the queries. They said, okay, you are not a defaulter, but we are not interested to change it to EMI mode. Mm -hmm. After giving a letter to you, they responded on that and saying that, okay, we are ready to do it in EMI mode, but the rate of interest, what I will be charging will be 27%. Okay. 
So 27 percent. It means suppose I am I am having an outstanding of 60,000. It means I will be paying them 78 to 80,000 annually. And in this I am going for 24 months. I will be paying them 96,000. Mm -hmm. So I said I am not interested to go for a EMI mode with this much of interest rate. My so current outstanding is 60,000. If you can go with 70,000, it is all right with me. But for 80,000 and 90,000 with an interest of 27 percent, it is not possible. They are charging much more than a personal loan interest. It's 17 percent, and they are charging 27 percent. Okay. Has the bank got in touch with you after you've written to us? Yeah, they have got in touch with me. And this is for last three months. I am doing with the bank. No response. No response at all. Okay, well, uh, this is what the bank has had to say in response to your complaint. ICICI Bank, in its response to fight back, says, and I quote, Samir Tomar has been making minimum payment due every month instead of repaying the total amount spent on his card in that particular month. It is a crude interest on outstanding payment. Hence, total amount due is not reducing. We had asked the customer to pay the minimum amount due to initiate a request for converting the outstanding balance into equated monthly installments of 12 or 24 months subject to approvals. End of quote. Okay, let's pause for a short break at this point. But if you too have a grievance, do feel free to write in to us or call us. We will be back in just a minute to solve many more of your problems. Stay tuned because it's time to fight back. If you have a grievance, you too can register your complaint. Just call us on 022-4098-7444 or you can email us at fightback at utvmoney.com. You can follow us on Twitter at BUTV Fightback.